year, we took a trip to Pukovic Nissan to test drive the Nissan Magnite. I would remember because it was my birthday. Now, today we are taking out the Nissan Magnite Kiro. Yes, I know you're probably wondering, hmm, what is the difference? Well, that's what we're here to find out because there's not much information available on the internet as to what, my, what has changed. So, you know, your favorite passenger princess, me, Diana Master, had to take a trip to Pukovic Nissan and to actually see in person what some of the major differences are. You are watching my dot in a cars on a beautiful Thursday evening and I'm so excited to be taking you with me on this journey to see the new Nissan Magnite Kiro. Fun fact, this was just shipped in a few days ago. So Am I giving you an exclusive? Of course, but that makes me your favorite passenger princess. But before we get too excited and get into that, we will be getting into the motoring news and thereafter talking about the Nissan Magnite Kiro. The new Toyota Hilux and Fortune are launching in South Africa this March. Toyota is launching mild hybrid MHEV versions of the admirable Hilux and Fortuna in the next few weeks that will offer several benefits including reduced fuel consumption, improved acceleration performance and better comfort levels. These electrified drive units will be available exclusively in the Hilux Radar and Legend 2.8 GD6 double cabs as well as in the Fortuna 2.8 GD6. In contrast to these hybrid vehicles. Toyota will also be introducing the new Hilux GR Sport 3 this March with beefy styling and an uprated power plant running only on diesel and no electrons. The MHEV powertrain coming to the Hilux and Fortuna combines Toyota's stalwart 2.8 litre GD6 turbo diesel engine that puts out 150 kilowatts and 500 newton meters with a 48 volt battery electric motor generator and DC converter. The semi-electric setup boasts a few tangible advantages over the current driveline in that it supplies 12 kilowatts and 65 newton meters of boost when pulling away from a standstill to allow for quicker and smoother acceleration and cuts average fuel consumption by about 5% through an advanced start-stop system and a reduction in idling speed to 600 rates per meter. The automaker further said that MHEV vehicles have lower noise vibration and harshness levels than their pure combustion engine counterparts and they feature braking regeneration abilities which should reduce disc and pad wear. Owners will still be able to make full use of the Hilux and Fortuna selectable 4x4 systems with 2H, 4H and 4L settings and they will retain all the capabilities that customers have come to demand and expect such as the 800 kg payload and 3500 kg towing capacities. The hybrid specific styling cues of the Toyota MHEVs are minimal and include small 48 volt stickers below the, badge, the badges on the exterior. Inside the cabin, there were no obvious indications of the electrified underpinnings in the pre-production models shown to the media earlier this year. Considering the Hilux MHEV will be available in both radar and legend guises, future buyers can expect the Baki to come with automatic LED headlights, LED fog lamps, 17-inch alloy wheels, side steps, a leather multifunction steering wheel, a central touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, dual zone air conditioning, cruise control, front and rear parking sensors, hill assist control, downhill control, trailer sway control and ABS with brake assist. Those who opt for the Legend trim will additionally receive electric leather seats, adaptive cruise control, lane departure alert and 18-inch wheels. 
For the Fortuna MHEV standard amenities will similarly include auto LED lights, distinctive 18-inch wheels, keyless entry and start, partial leather upholstery, electric front seats, dual zone climate control, an infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, cruise control, a reverse camera with parking sensors, hail assist control, downhill control, trailer sway control and ABS with brake assist. As with most years, there should be an annual update of the Hilux and Fortuna taking place sometime within the first quarter of 2024 with the rollout of the MHEV models in March alongside the Hilux GR Sport 3 falling in harmony with this timeline. The Fortuna's looks were overhauled in February last year so it wouldn't be surprising if the Hilux follows suit this year. The Bucky just had a facelift in the Australian market which could potentially come to South Africa and eventually Namibia though it's worth noting that Toyota has made no official comment on the refreshed double cab so it remains to be seen whether it will be a surprise introduction or not. Regardless, we expect that the Toyota, Bucky and SUV families will receive a small spec bump this month when the three newcomers are launched to keep them up to date until the next generation arrives. That's it for Mercury News, but don't go anywhere. We have more My.NA cars coming up after the break. The roads may challenge us in many forms, many shapes, but they are truly made for one thing only. Going forward. With complete protection from shell advance, take on all that lies ahead. So, of course, today, like I mentioned earlier, we are talking about the new Magnite Cure. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, but what's the difference? I mean, in terms of exterior, it pretty much looks the same like the Nissan Magna. Now, I can't give you a full in-depth um, explanation as to what has changed, but I have someone here with me who can. I'm joined by Shauna, who is the sales supervisor here at Pufkovitz Nissan. How are you doing today? I'm very do doing well. Um, very well. You're doing very well. Are you excited good, good. to show me the car? Very excited. <laughs> very excited. <laughs> now, of course, we always start with the exterior. A little later on, we'll get into the interior. So start us off by telling us the difference between the Magnite and the Magnite Cure. Because like I said, from first glance, they look the same. Um, at this point in time, the Kiro is it's like a limited edition that we have. Okay. Um, it's more like a black edition. If you look at, um, if you look at uh, towards the the older Magnite or the mm -hmm. previous one versus this one, it's like totally black edition. And what I meant by black edition is uh, you will look at in front, let's start in front, you got a matte black grill. Mm -hmm. uh, you got even the, the, the black trimming here on the lights where the, where the normal Magnite doesn't have that. Um, you got the black 16 inch rims, mm -hmm. which is there, and then you got all these black, the black mirrors, you got all the black roof rails, the black uh, handles. And at the back, you got also like, a, um, uh, you know, where it's usually chrome, it was chrome, it's, it's like a black. So it's totally like a black edition. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's the same vehicle, but it's like a limited edition and because of the black edition, because of all the black features that it has. I see. So basically, whatever car we get, like whatever color we choose, because I'm seeing it does come in three colors. Yes. Yes. What are those colors? It's, uh, it's, the, it's the, uh, the white and black. You've got the silver one, the silver and the black, and you've got the red and black. Okay. But uh, as you can see, all of them is having the, the black edition, the mm. black, all the black trimmings, you know, all this black. Um, it, it, it just stands out. And, you know, when, when you look at uh, the normal Mag Knight versus the Kiro, it just stands out totally because like a black edition. Okay. Yeah. I would actually like to do sort of like a side-by-side -side comparison to see, because like I said, like, Objectively speaking, it does look pretty much the same. It's only when you pay closer attention yes. to the detail. All right, so just walk us through the exterior. I mean, we did speak about the yeah. lights. Let's so, talk about it. Like yes. I said, you got the, you got the, at this point in time, you got all of them. All the Magnite uh, Kilos comes out with the standard LED lights. Mm -hmm. This is the daylight running lights. That when you switch on the car, it's automatically on. You got the LED fog lights on top here. And then, like I said, you got these beautiful lights. And it shows you um, the sexiness of this vehicle. And it, <laughs> 
it shows you like it's 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 a it's a it's a very outstanding vehicle mm -hmm. on the road, especially when you see it because of this robust and you know this this mm -hmm. big grill. Mm -hmm. it, it makes it standing out you know, towards the towards its competitors. Mm -hmm. Now uh, I understand with the grill, it's more like a hard plastic. Basically. Yeah, it's more or less like a hard plastic. Yes, mm -hmm. you can feel it also like this. Mm -hmm. But like I said, on the other end is you got all these black trimmings uh, from outside, and then you got also these what do you call it? Um, the 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 the, the kilo the, it stands out here. Yes, it shows you it the does. the kilo itself, and you see all the black the black roof with mm -hmm. the black um, uh, roof rails, all this black addition. So, at the, if if you go back to the if you go to the to the back, you'll find that um, at the back side you'll even see the lights at the back is a little bit darker because of the black addition. You look at here. Oh, I see. And then you also look okay. at this part here, which is also like black. Black. Even the yes. black knight is version is also black. black. Yes. Uh -huh. While the others are totally in chrome and okay. then totally chrome. And then the the normal midnight comes out with a chrome um, rim, and this one comes with the black rims. Mm. So that's where the difference are. Yes. Okay. That's uh, where the major yes, difference that, lies, basically. Yes. Now, also, which is very nice about this uh, Kiro is it's a, it's a very luxury vehicle. Okay. A luxury HUV in its class. Uh -huh. You've got all these fancy things that you like, like a keyless entry. Um, yes, I did yes. see by the handle there, yes. we, we got this work with entry, the proximity so, yes. key. Yes. So you all you got all these fancy ones, you can carry this key in your pocket, open the door just by the push of the button nice. here. Nice. Yes, and all those things that you can do. So, yeah, when you go inside of the vehicle, you'll see what I mean by luxury. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's totally, um, uh, it's, it's totally a vehicle in, in, in its class, it totally stands out towards the the other competitors. I still have to find out because like I said, I did test drive the Magnite. Yes. And it just so happened it was on my birthday. So now I do need I to remember. see exactly <laughs> so now I need to see the cure, see right. exactly what has changed in terms um, of the interior. Yes. So that is how this is what actually makes it the Kiro um, standing out um, a little bit different towards the normal Magnite. Mm -hmm. It's because of the black edition that we have. Um, and then it has some you know some features that other magnets also have but like i said it's just the the, the feature the looks and then all the stuff that makes it's it it's just aesthetically yes, yes. that it has changed yeah. from the regular magnet yes. okay awesome now of course we do have to get inside i do have to say i am loving the black interior That's the seats look amazing yeah. they look quite luxurious <laughs> i do like that like of course we're not talking you know supercar luxury but of course but, um, affordable for, suv for for the, luxury. Type, for the for the price of this vehicle and for the luxury that you get or the, and for the features that you get it's it's very good price it's actually it's actually uh, uh, to be honest you you won't get um you know for for the type of money mm -hmm. that you are paying um, in this vehicle, you get a lot of stuff. Okay. And then also, what 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 makes also the magnet and not not the kilo action, but the the magnet itself, what mm -hmm. makes it so good, is the ground clearance. If you can see this out. Yes. This ground clearance on this car is about 205 millimeters, oh, which is wow. quite, it's quite high, high, and it's quite good on gravel roads. You can use it on gravel roads. Um, it's not a 4x4, but you can drive on gravel roads because of the high clearance. Mm -hmm. And also. And even just to avoid, you know getting it scratched yes, under yes. because i mean i don't want to call myself out but i if i have to i mean you know when you're parking sometimes and you don't yeah, yeah. catch totally the bumper nicely yeah. yeah so at least with the ground clearance i actually like that even the height of the car yes, and it's still very small, small to me it's yes. very yes. compact but then also it still gives you that spacious and like i said with, with the ground clearance which is quite high you got the 16 inch tires mm -hmm. rims which makes it much more handling you know to handle it on the road it's not that light, it's a, it's, it sets on the road because of the 16 inch tires. And then also because it's a little bit wider than other competitors. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yes. all right. Okay, now we of course do have to get inside, inside. and talk about the interior, <laughs> see what has changed from the Magnite. Now just tell me, Sean, when was this one released? Um, just now recently, mm -hmm. um, uh, this is our first stock that we received. Okay. Yeah, this is actually the first that we that we currently have in stock, mm -hmm. yes. So this is and the 2024 edition? Definitely. Basically. It's a 2024 model, it's a 24 edition, and we just received it recently. Yeah. So I can't get it in pink? Um, I can try to get you one in pink, but it will take a while I'll to get it for you. I'll settle for red, I guess, <laughs> if I have You're to. You're welcome to do that. <laughs> yes. I will be taking a quick ad break, and when we come back, we get into the inside of the Nissan Magnite Kuro and see how much it has changed from just the regular Nissan Magnite. Stay tuned.
Now, I wouldn't be doing my job if I don't show you the interior of the Nissan Mag 9 Cura. Of course, we're still trying to see what the major differences are, and I still have Sean with me here to explain in depth what has changed. From the get-go, though, I do have to say, I mentioned earlier that I like the seats. So, Sean, please do take it away. Um, Diane, like I said, you got the, in, especially when it comes to the seats here, you got mm -hmm. this bucket seats, it likes sporty seats. It actually looks, it makes this look, a vehicle look like a sports vehicle. Mm -hmm. When you look inside, you got these nice bucket seats that can, you can have a, a nice sit back and, 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 and have a nice ride on it. Okay. And you've got this armrest here, which is actually very good. It's not like, it doesn't open at all, but it's just an armrest mm -hmm. where you can use it. And then especially when this armrest is actually linked to, um, to the rear air vent, which you can use for air connected the back seat. Nice. So, um, then you got the keyless, uh, over the keyless entry, like I explained to you already. Yes. You got the but push button start, which is one of the fancy things about this vehicle. <laughs> You got a nice, this nice touchscreen that you have, the seven inch, it's about seven point seven inch screen that you got. Mm -hmm. um, the which, yeah, screen. And, and then also you got this multi-control steering wheel. And then best of all, you got this beautiful dashboard display. So as well, when you switch it on, you will see what I meant by beautiful. You got oh, this. Oh, nice, yes. the graphics. So, yes. I've seen the same though in the Nissan Mag yes. 9, yes. And it shows you whatever, like for now, it shows you whenever the doors open, whenever a boot is open, mm. it will even display on this one. Like I explained, this is the multi-control steering wheel. You've got all these electrical window parts here. So which is actually, and then if you look at closely, you look at the screen, but tilt it to the To the, to the, the driver's to the side, side, I so see, to more, make it more to make convenient. It convenient. And for handling and all the stuff. So this is your air conditioning system here. Mm -hmm. and then and best of uh, the and then you got all these uh, you know the gadgets that you can put in your cup holders here and then and then while you got a wireless charger that you can use my favorite feature yes. in cars now this one is is an option is an optional option is an, is, a, is an option with regard to the other magnets so that's the others doesn't come standard with it yes this one does come standard with it yes because i understand with yeah. the magnet it was an add-on yes but then now it just it's comes an, standard, standard in the cure you got this nice black uh, you know this black uh, matte black uh, uh, dashboard yes. that you can that you can have a look at it it actually looks very very nice it inside. does look yeah. very nice but i do have to say honest opinion with the hard plastic covering again i'm not really a fan of that but you know what it serves the aesthetic purpose yeah, it is. so i'll give it that but it's actually you know the, the reason for this is actually and i mean and, I can, and it's it's nice to clean it it's easy to clean it mm, especially when you I have see. it's very much you can just wipe it over the with the cloth but like i said it's easy to clean very mm. much easy to clean and it doesn't scratch easy because you can feel it it's like an it's like almost like an a, 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 not, uh, uh, but it's a hard plastic. Yeah, it is Very a hard, hard plastic. Yeah. You get, yes. So it, it, someone has to actually... But isn't it prone to more damage though? No, like, no, not Like though. scratches. Like imagine you have a toddler sitting in, not a toddler, because why is a toddler sitting in front of yeah. you? But you know, like it's it, it seems like it's prone to scratches. No, no, like definitely not. Like I said, you can feel it. Mm -hmm. It's it's totally like, like uh, it's not like plastic, but it's not like vinyl. But you can even, you have to scratch it with something. And actually Extremely, or like you have to, to put a lot it, yeah. of effort to, to actually on, damage, damage it. it. Awesome. So okay. you got, yeah, like I said, you got the multi-control steering wheel. You got, you got the electronic uh, dashboard that shows you the speed electronic. Like the old vehicles that you got the speed going like this. Mm -hmm. You got electronic, especially when you drive, you'll see what I mean by that now. Yeah. Okay, so awesome. So like I said, and then also you got this, um, you know, this the lights with all this. This has changed from the Nissan yeah. Magnite, I can definitely You've tell you You've also got something there for the ladies. We see the black edition, yes, we and see, can, of course. And then, and then, <laughs> so that is, yeah, Hi. and then also, uh, like in, in most cars, you only get the one on the left hand side, the mirror, but this one you get in both sides. Oh, nice, yeah. I so see. So the driver okay. can have a look at himself. Mm -hmm. Like right. I said, though, with this car, although it is quite compact and quite small, it is very spacious because I actually do have a lot it of legroom here in the front, and I can confirm that our cameraman at the back there is sitting quite comfortably no, but of course yeah. we do have to take the car out for a spin and then we can talk more in depth of what the car has to offer no i did put my phone on the charger right now it is at let me see 66 percent we'll see when we come back from the test drive just how far and you can see the little button went from being red this just shows that the phone is not on yes and then once and the it phone shows is you on and then it's green yeah it's green all right so don't go anywhere, we'll be right back as we take this Nissan Magna Cure out for a spin. Five important facts about Shell Helix. One, Shell was the first to develop the technology that produces oil from natural gas. Two, oil made from natural gas is pure. Three, 
is specially formulated not to break down even under the most extreme temperature conditions. Four, it gives you improved fuel economy. And five, Shell Helix is the only motor oil used, trusted and recommended by Scuderia Ferrari. It wouldn't be my dot any cars if we don't take the car out for a spin, see how well it does on the road. And of course, in keeping true to my title, your favorite passenger princess, Sean is going to be doing all the driving today and explaining to us all the drive modes, all the features that we actually get with the Nissan Mike 9 Kuro, and we see just how well it performs on the road. So Sean, yes, starting us off, I do have to say though, I do like the speedometer and how it's displayed. And from there, I like the fact that we actually don't just have the speedometer but we have so much more information that we can see like we, can, we have the tire pressure monitor like you mentioned earlier we can see the driving mode that we're currently in so please just walk us through all of that uh, and okay yes again like i said when you're driving especially when you see it's it's like i explained it's the settings of in front for a driver it's it's very much uh, easy, it's made very much easy for for a driver. Yes. Um, you got the on board, on board display that shows you the the, the 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 speed that you're driving. You got the, these buttons here that you can for the cruise control option that you have here. You got the on board display that you can change it here to see all these drives options. You, you your tire pressure monitor, like I mentioned. Um, you got your drive to your trip uh, rip meter, your fuel consumption, mm -hmm. everything that shows here. What is best about this vehicle is that. It's, it's like I said, it's compact. It has all the features that you need mm -hmm. and you don't need, uh, you know, and, and for the price that you get, it's it's, it's actually worth the money. Mm -hmm. We'll get to the price later. Talk to us about fuel consumption and of course the engine. Uh, Dan, this, this vehicle is having a one liter turbo engine. And I mean, one liter sounds very small mm. in comparison to other vehicles like two liters and two, you know, mm. 1 1.6, 1 point. The reason being is that it's for fuel consumption. It, and, and, and to be honest, um, Technically speaking, you'll get on this one liter turbo, it's very much powerful. Kits out about, uh, out about uh, 74 kilowatt, which is powerful for a small engine like this. So you've got more than enough power. Um, and then also going with the power, you've got the fuel consumption, which makes it good. Like I said, in in on the on the on the on the open road, you will get easily between 16 to 18 kilometers per liter. Wow, on okay, this that's quite impressive. While on the urban um, areas, you'll get about between you get, uh, depending on how you're going to drive, yes. depending on how many stops there is, uh -huh. you reach about 9.8 to 11, up to 12 kilometers per liter in town. Nice. That's what you're going to get. Okay, so this is definitely one of those cars that is, I would say once you've paid it off completely, it's going to do a lot to save on fuel, for basically. Sure. Yes, so it doesn't definitely. matter what mode you're driving in. That's it, for sure. That doesn't matter, that doesn't matter at all. Mm -hmm. All right, so I just wanted to find out, right? You did say some of the features that we get in the Cure are offered on the regular Mag9, but obviously mid to higher spec ranges. Yes, yes. What about with the Cure? Do we have the mid spec and the high spec, or this is just this standard? Is, the Kiro just the is one. just a standard one. It's mm. just this one that you get, and you don't, you don't get a mid spec or a, or a high spec more than this one. This is the this is the top of range one in the kilo. This is best as it gets. Yes. And yes. it's the only one. It's the only one, yes. Okay, awesome. Okay, now let's talk about the pricing. How much can people expect to fork out for such a tiny but spacious fuel saving car? Um, we advertise it now for 352. So it's about it's 352,000. Um, uh, that's the that's the top of the range for this vehicle that you can and then uh, for like I said and then also but our price that includes the the registration you know mm. this uh, the admin fee that we have going with it um, yeah but for us for this vehicle with with all these features that you can 352 is not much no it's really not much are there any payment plan options available for and sure, what are we definitely. looking at there is definitely payment options especially with certain banks. Um, all the banks, major, with all the major banks, you got. And nowadays, you get the seventy-two months payment option, which is six years. Mm -hmm. You got this. You got the balloon payment option, which you can opt. We can. Which you can take also as optional. 
Um, then you got a 10% deposit, which is a requirement, a normal requirement. So yeah, balloon payment option is definitely there. Mm -hmm. You got the seven, six years payment, which is 72 months options. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it, it all depends on the client, which option he or she wants to choose. Yes, which one works yes. best for yeah, them. Which, which I like the best. fact that the client can choose yeah. what and is best yes. suited Also, for them. when it comes to um, financing and, 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 and uh, we only do financing through a bank, but what makes it very much easy for us at Nissan is we do have our own in-house F&I, finance and insurance consultant. Nice. That, um, actually can help you. So you don't need to run around from bank to bank mm. collecting these documents. Um, once you come in, you get a quotation. Uh, one of the salespeople can take you to, to our F&I and then, yeah, um, they can assist you with the application. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so what are some of the service plans available once I've purchased yes. the car? And this, on this vehicle, it, for a small one like this, you got a, um, a warranty, which is very, uh, some other people said it's ridiculous, but it's a six year, 150,000 kilometers warranty on this vehicle. And then you've got a service plan, which is three years, 30,000 kilometer service that you have on the service plan that you have on this vehicle. And then the service intervals on this one is about, it's 10,000 kilometers uh, every 10,000 kilos. So which means you have three services, um, which is covered and then or three years, whichever one comes first. I see. Okay. There's also the option that you can extend the service plan if you're buying it. So it's not that you say when you buy this vehicle, three years service plan or 30,000 kilometers is done and dusted. No. You have the option of extended it. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. see. All Which right. will be then included in the vehicle's price. I see. Awesome. Okay, so for those of you that are curious about the Nissan Mag 9 Curo, because there's not a lot of information out there on the internet, let's be honest, you can actually just make your way to Kukovic Nissan, talk to Sean and his team, and they will be glad to let you take the car out for a test drive and see just how well you like it. Well, that is it for this episode of My Dot NA Cars. I'm going to be enjoying my passenger princess route now and just sitting back and relaxing the Nissan Magna Kiro. A big thank you to Sean from Nissan Pukovic for taking us around, giving us a little more insight about the car and explaining the differences between the Magnite and the Magnite Curo. You will be catching me again next week, Thursday, DSTV Channel 285, Go TV Channel 25. From me, Diana Master, your favorite passenger princess, it is ciao.